Good morning, students. I am Dr. Muthukumar Sami, your senior professor. We are going to deal about the coma today. From the starting, I first I will cover the basics of coma and the measurements of coma, what we are doing. Okay. Then I will go for the then I will go for the clinical features and its management, classification and its management. First of all, the definition of coma. Coma is a state of complete behavioral unresponsiveness. Unresponsiveness to external stimulation. Whatever may the stimuli, the response is very poor. Anatomy of consciousness. Usually, the consciousness is maintained by ascending reticular activating system and descending reticular activating system. This AS, ARAS, ascending reticular activating system, the activating system of upper brainstem, hypothalamus, thalamus, determines the level of arousal. Arousal. It determines the role of arousal. Cerebral hemispheres and the inter interaction between the function areas in cerebral hemispheres. It determines the intellectual and the emotional functioning. Interaction between cerebral hemisphere and the activating systems. See? It activates systems, the upper brainstem, hypothalamus, thalamus. And determine the level of arousal, cerebral and interaction between the function areas in cerebral hemispheres, they determine intellectual and emotional functioning. Interaction between cerebral, cerebral hemispheres and activating systems. Ascending RAs, reticular activating system, from the lower border of the pons, it is the part between the lower border of bonds to the ventromedial thalamus. The cell of vaginal system occupies a paramedian area in the brainstem. This system occupies the paramedian area. This ascending area is from the lower border of the bonds to the ventromedial thalamus. Level of arousal consciousness. We can define conscious, alert, attentive, and cooperative. Awareness of self and the environment. He aware himself and the environment where he is there, well, in which place. These are the things where they will assess. Confused, conscious, but talks irrelevantly. What do we, if you ask something, you will ask something. This is not connected both. Drowsy, sleepy, but can be aroused easily by external stimuli. Stupor, deep sleep, can only be aroused by deep painful stimulus. That is easy external stimulus, painful stimulus. Conscious, finally coma, unconscious, it doesn't respond to any external stimulus or even depression, nothing can be done. That's the final stage. Alert, the patient is awake. Verbal, the patient responds to verbal stimulation. Pain, the patient responds to pain stimulation. Unresponsive, the patient is completely under. This is called the AVPU scale. This is EMS crews may begin with the AVPU assessment to be followed by GCS if the score is below A. This is AVPU score, alert, verbal, pain stimulation, and response. There are four scales for emergency, mental status. Examination, EMS, emergency, mental status. Okay. This is Glasgow Goma scale. It has got for eye response, four category, 
best verbal response five category best motor response six categories for i i is opening spontaneously four i is opening to speech three i is opening in response to pain two no response one best verbal response oriented next is confused then inappropriate words incomprehensible sounds final none motor response obeys commands localizes pain withdraws from pain flexion response to pain extension to pain finally no motor response again a glasgow comma scale individual elements as well as the sum of the score are important hence the score is expressed in terms of gcs9 that is u2 v4 m3 generally there is eye movements verbal and motor that is e2 v4 more generally comas are classified as severe the gcs less than 8 moderate gcs 9 to 12 minor more than 13 DD of the comma. We can go to the how to diagnose comma with the difference of diagnosis. No focal neurological signs. CT scan and cellular content CSF are normal. If focal neurological signs with or without changes, the CSF, CT and MRI are normal. Major disease syndromes. With an excess of WBC, the CSF usually without the focal signs. CT and MRI shows no mass lesion. See, I have listed a, a, a group of diseases which are diseases without focal neurological signs that cause no focal or lateral signs neurological signs. Content. The CSF are normal. Intoxicants, alcohol, sedative drugs, opiates, etc. Metabolic disturbances, anoxia. Anoxia. Hyponatremia, hyponatremia, hyperkalemia, diabetic ketosis. Hypoglycemia, uremia, hepatic coma, hypercarbia, Addison's disease, severe systemic infection, septicemia, typhoid fever, malaria, shock from any cause. Post seizure status, status epilepticus, non-convulsive status, epilepticus, hypertension, encephalopathy, eclampsia, severe hyperthermia, and hypothermia. With focal neural signs, they cause brain storm or lateral thing, cerebral signs, with or without changes in the CSF, CT, MRI, are abnormal. CNS hemorrhage or infection one, two brain abscess as abdominal edema, brain tumor with surrounding edema, brain trauma, epidural and subdural hemorrhage, brain contusion, metabolic coma. We already listed again. Ten points with pre-existing focal damage, miscellaneous cortical CVT, cortical vein thrombosis, epicemplex encephalitis, septic emboli due to bacterial endocarditis, acute disseminated encephalomyelitis, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, cerebral vasculitis. Meningitis syndrome, the disease that causes meningeal irritation. With or without fever, with an excess of WBCs, all be in the sense of usually without focal or or lateral signs, cerebral or brain stem signs. CT or MRI shows no mass lesion. Acute bacterial meningitis, viral encephalitis, miscellaneous fat embolism, cholesterol embolism. Cosmetics and lymphomatous meningitis. 
ఇప్పుడు ఈ అప్రోచ్ చెప్పేసి హౌ టు ది అప్రోచ్ చెప్పి కొమాటోస్ పేషెంట్ ఎస్ యూజువలీ జనరల్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఆర్ అరైవల్ టు ఇయర్ ఇమీడియట్ అటెన్షన్ టు ఎయిర్ వే ఏబిసి ఎస్ యూజువల్ ఎయిర్ వే బ్రీతింగ్ సర్క్యులేషన్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ ఐ వ్యాక్సెస్ బ్లడ్ షుడ్ బి విత్ రాన్ ఎస్టిమేటింగ్ ఫర్ గ్లూకోజ్ అండ్ అదర్ వై కెమికల్ పారామీటర్స్ అండ్ డ్రగ్ స్క్రీనింగ్ attention is then directed towards the assessment of the patient severe death coma diagnostic evaluation all possible informations from relatives paramedicals ambulance personnel bystanders particularly about the mode of onset and mode of occurrence we can get you see the circumstances rapidly with which the neurologic symptoms have developed the antecedent symptoms confusion weakness headache fever seizures dizziness double vision or vomiting vomiting is very much important in case of hypertensive patients for hemorrhagic stroke that is a ict a cause of ict it causes the projectile type of vomiting severe headache there is throbbing headache projectile type of vomiting the use of medication drugs alcohol alcoholic intoxication drugs use of medications that cause coma chronic liver disease kidney lung heart and other medical diseases clues obtained from the patient's clothing or handbag careful again for the trauma requires complete exposure on a log roll to examine the back needle marks for drugs abuse for drugs abuse needle marks usually if head trauma is suspected the examination must await adequate stabilization of the neck blastoma coma skin the severity of coma is essential for the subsequent management following this particular attention should be paid to the brain stem and motor function examination comatose pulse usually bradycardia indicates brain tumors opiates ict mixed edema tachycardia sepsis hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism uremia blood pressure high hypertension suspect hypertension cardiomyopathy low addison disease crisis alcohol barbiturate infection myocardial infection especially sepsis temperature fever in sepsis meningitis encephalitis or heat stroke anticholinergic drug intoxication hypothermia in alcohol barbiturate sedative in in intoxication hypoglycemia peripheral circulatory failure respiratory tachypnea in acidosis and pneumonia aberrant respiratory patterns in brainstem disorders i will come later in elaborately skin injuries and bruises traumatic cause dry skin diabetic ketosis atrium intoxication my skin hypoglycemia coma cherry red carbon monoxide poisoning needle marks drug intoxication drug addiction rashes meningitis endocarditis water of the acetone diabetic ketosis fit hepaticus in hepatic coma uriniferous water in uremic coma alcohol water in alcohol intoxication level of arousal tickling the nostrils with cotton wisp is moderate similar to arousal pressure on the knuckles or bony prominences and pinprick stimulation are human forms of noxious stimuli pinching skin causes unsightly ecchymosis and is generally not necessary but may be useful in eliciting abduction with dial movements in the limbs there is pinching the cortical rigidity the flexion of the elbows and this that the supinus of the arm bilateral damage rostral to brain bilateral hemispherical damage this cerebral rigidity excess of the elbows and this with pronation damage to motor tracts 
in the midbrain or caudal day in Kapila. Below that. You get flexed. Flexed the wrist. Adducted. Flexed. Internal rotated. Plantar flexed. Degardigal rigidity. This is a rigidity. Adducted. Here instead of flexed, it is extended. Pronated. Flexed. Then plantar flexed. Okay. Western reflexes are fibular reflex, acular reflex, acular movements, corneal reflex, respiratory pattern. As a rule, coma due to bilateral hemispheric disease preserves these brainstorm activities. Usually, people's size inequality reaction to a bright light. An important general rule: most metabolic encephalitis give small papers. Preserve light reflex. Small pupils, preserve light reflex. Atropine and cerebral anoxia tends to dilate the pupils and the opiates will consume them. Metabolic we give small pupils with light reflex. Atropine causes dilate the pupils and the opiates will consume them. Pupils reactive and round pupils. That is mid size to 2.5 to 5 millimeter essentially exclude midbrain damage. One thing structural lesions are more commonly associated with pupillary asymmetry with loss of light reflex. Midbrain lesions, round, regular, medium cis pupils do not react to light. Mid, medium cis pupils 2.5 to 5 millimeters. Cranial nerve, they are distal to nucleus, distal lateral fixed, dilated people. Pontine lesions, bilateral small pupils in pontine hemorrhage may be pinpoint, although reactive. Pupils, lateral medulla lesion, that is, hypnotic honor syndrome, occluded carotid artery, causing cerebral infection. People on that side is often small. That lateralizes the lesion. And again, the pictorial reference. Diagonal small reactive, midbrain, medium cis fixer, tectum dilated and fixer, ipsilateral dilated, fixer, and third nerve policy. In bonds, small pinpoint. In hemorrhage, it is reactive. Acular movements, the position of the eyes like this. Presence of spontaneous eye movement. The reflex responses to oculocephalic and oculovestibular maneuvers. Spontaneous eye movement, position of the eyes at rest. Then oculocephalic and oculovestibular reflex. The eyes look toward the hemispherical lesion. And away from the brain stomach. You see, it lateralizes in the hemispheric lesion and away from the brain stomach lesion. Aglocephalic reflex. Realized by moving the head from side to side, vertically or vertically, other the eye movements in the direction opposite to the head movement. So the eyes move conjugately in the opposite direction to the head movement. Head movement. The response is positive and indicates an intact pons mediating a normal vestibular ocular reflex. The doll eyes refers to the reflex elevation of the eyelids with flexion of the neck. These reflex are normally suppressed in awake patient. In a comatose patient, we can only know. The demonstration of aglocephalic reflex, just mid position. To the right side and left side. You see, the left side, the people serve to the right side, and the right side, the people serve to the left side. The aglo vestibular reflex, they are tested by the installation of ice cold water into the external artery matrix, having confirmed that there is no tympanic rupture. In tympanic rupture, it cannot be performed. 
that also very uh, false results. A normal expansion is conscious phase in the development of nystagmus with quick phase away from the seminal side. This requires intact cerebrospontane connections, CP connections. Okay. Yeah, pneumonia is called cows. That is cold water, opposite side, warm water, same side. It is cows. Here, installation of cold water. Here you see, rapid space of opposite side. Slow space the same side. But we take away the rapid space only. Here the warm water, same side. And cold water opposite, warm water, same side. It is cows, the demonic pervert. Depending on the respiration, also we can differentiate the different types of cause of coma. Kinds of separation, hyperapnea alters with the apnea, is commonly found in comatose patients, often with cerebral disease, but relatively non specific. Chain strokes. If it is static, it could a good prognosis. If kin strokes occur in a patient having posterior posa lesion with the sixth inner bilateral involvement causes a bad prognosis, ominous prognosis. Rapid regular respiration is also common in comatous patients. It's often found with pneumonia, acidosis, tachypnea. Another type, central neurogenic hyperventilation, brainstem, tegmentum. Increase PCO2, decrease VO2, PCO2. Respiratory alcohol is absence of inheritance of pulmonary disease. Sometimes complicates hepatic encephalopathy. Apneistic breathing, brainstem lesions, parts may also give a pass at full inspiration. Long pass, there is full inspiration. Ataxic breathing, medullary lesions, irregular respiration with the random deep and shallow breaths. I will show the picture in the next slide. Definitely. You see, cane stones, central apneotic breathing with the hyperventilation. That is apneistic breathing, neurogenic breathing. Here, the amplitude also differs. Cluster breathing. That is cluster breathing. Ataxic. Irregular, irregularly irregular type of breathing. Abnormal breathing in patients in coma. Cane strokes type. Celter, neurogenic, midbrain. Apneistic, pons. Ataxic, medulla. Below that, the air is system. It's a pattern. Motor function. Particular attention should be directed towards the asymmetric tone or movement. The plantar response are usually, usually extensor, but the asymmetry, again, important. The dental effects are less useful. Motor response to painful stimuli should be assessed carefully. It is a part of GCS, Glaxo Coma Scale System. Painful stimuli, supraorbital nerve pressure and nail blood pressure. Rubbing of the sternum should be avoided, bruising at distress to the relative. Patients may localize or exhibit a variety of responses. Asymmetry is important. See, this is a different type of motor function. Flexion of the upper limb with extension of the lower limb, decorticate response and extension of the upper limb and lower limb, decerebrate rigidity, indicates a more severe disturbance and prognosis. First is following commands. He localizes the pain. He withdraws for the pain, abnormal flexion, 
extensor response, no response. These are five types of motor function. Okay. Signs of lateration. First is unequal papers. Deviation of the eyes to one side. Facial asymmetry. Turning of the head to one side. Unilateral hypo, hypotonia. Asymmetric deep asymmetric. Deep reflexes. Unilateral extensor plantar response. Babinitsky sign. Unilateral focal or Jacksonian fits. And that comes the finally the many meningeal irritation that is meningitis. Three signs of neck rigidity, Koenig sign, Kursinski sign. There are three cardinal signs for that the child lies. What is it? When you flex the neck, it rises the leg. That is at knee level. Koenig sign. When one leg is extended, another leg also flexed. Head and neck. They get evidence of the injury. Skull should be palpated for depress fractures. The ear and nose hemorrhage and leakage of CSF. Fundus papilledema or subbilat or retinal hemorrhages. Diagnosis this thing. The clinical investigations. Obtain ABG, serum electrolytes, glucose, creatinine, complete blood count, liver function, urine analysis, duct levels, ordered if appropriate, toxicology screen of blood and urine if suspect any poisoning, usually. Imagine HCT immediately. Urgent HCT should be done. Evaluate structure of abnormalities. Brain MRI can be useful if HCT is non diagnostic. The suspicion of ischemic or parent chemical lesion, especially the positive for the The procedures are diagnostic procedures are CFS examination, LP, lumbar puncture. May be concerned patients with fever and are new headache patients. Fundus examination or red imaging prior to lumbar puncture to access risk of herniation in papilledema. It is contraindicated. For that, we go head imaging prior to LP. Basic CSF studies protein, glucose, cell count, gram stain, and aerobic culture. Obtained with the additional studies depending on the possible etiology. Encephalo EEG, electroencephalography, is route to rule out seizures. Non conclusive status ability is a common cause of unexpected encephalopathy in a critically ill patient. Non conclusive status ability is. These are four waves. Beta waves, alert at, alert at working. Alpha, relaxed type. Theta, cloudy and dealing. Delta, sleep and dreaming. Delta, deep sleep or sleeps. ICT. A main importance for a coma is one of the ICT. Intracranial pressure, increase in intracranial pressure. Insert IGB monitor versus ventriculostomy versus panel device. General goals maintain ICP less than 20 millimeter mercury and CPP more than 60 millimeter mercury. Elevated intracranial pressure. Elevate head of the patient, midline head position, dense of a ventriculostomy, osmotherapy, mannitol, 
and hypodynamic sign can be used. Glucocorticoids for vasogenic edema from tumor or abscess, hyperventilation to PACO2, 30 to 35 milligram mercury, pressure therapy, dopamine, and non norepinephrine to maintain adequate MAP to ensure CPP more than 60 millimeters of mercury. Second type therapy is for refractory elevator ICP, decompressive craniectomy, high dose barbiturate therapy, that is, pentobarb coma, it is called, hypothermia, that is, elevating at temperature of 30 to 33 degrees centigrade, sorry, decreasing is a pen, decreasing, not elevating. Progression coma. In general, coma carries serious prognosis. It is dependent on large extent of underlying cause. Coma is due to depressive drugs, carries an excellent prognosis, provided that these resuscitative and supportive measures are available and no anoxia has been sustained. Metabolic causes, apart from anoxia, carry a better prognosis than structural lesions and head injury. Is more better than this heterogeneous structural lesions. Pregnant coma, length of coma, and increasing age are poor prognostic significance. Bensum reflexes, early in coma, are important predictor of outcome. Good. And there is a logarithm of the uh, examination, how to manage the unconscious patient. Assess, treat airway, breathing, circulation, coma evolution, LOC, brainstem reflexes, motor responses, breathing pattern. And finally, immediate serum glucose, electrolytes, arterial blood gas, complete blood count, liver and endocrine test, toxicology screen, and pan cultures. ETLG not immediately identifiable, reversible, emergent head CT. If any herniation syndrome or increased ICP, hyperventilation, PSEO2, 35 to 30 milligrams of mercury, mannitol, 0.5 to 1 gram per kilogram body weight, thiopental, 3.5 milligram per kilogram, or propofol. 2 to 3 milligram per kilogram, neurosurgical consultation for further environment. If I put them here, Less than 60 millimeter diamond can be used. 100 milligram IV, then glucose 25 grams, 50 to 50 ml, dextrose 50%. If suspected seizure activity, lotus by 1 to 2 milligram. Suspect opioid overdose, naloxone 0.4 to 2 milligram IV. Q3 minutes. Is suspected benzodiazepine about to say. Flumazanil, 0.2 milligram per minute, maximum 1 milligram IV. If a drug intoxication is suspected, gastric lavage with activated charcoal, persisting etiology and uncertainty, cancer MRI, EEG, LP. Thank you, students. The